YouTube. It's your boy Dennis. Another hand daddy. So the box, the eagle has landed. The box is here. So I'd like to give a shout out to Aaron, Queen City Bullies, for collaborating uh, with with us on uh, breeding our foundation female faith. We'll get her out here in a minute so you can see her. But um, we're gonna breed her to Bubby via AI. And um, I just want to give a th I just want to say thank you to the, all the dudes. For all the kennels that offered a um, pup back deal. I want to say thank you to the guys who I asked and declined my, a pup back deal. You know who you are. There's only three of you that I asked and you said no. But um, Aaron said, yeah, he, he, he said that, you know, he felt like we had a female that he that would bless his yard, that would uh, help his stud you know uh produce at a high level because for a lot of you people that don't know dog genetics and i'm not an expert on it but supposedly females are 65 percent of what goes into the puppies the female contributes 65 percent the male contributes like 35 to 40 percent that's why it's so important to have foundation females for all you guys who breed busted females to top studs and get inconsistent litters and blame it on the studs, it's really the female's fault if your litter's inconsistent because your female's inconsistent. Either she's very she's highly scatterbred or she just don't have the genetic power to produce consistent litters. So I would say that my female is a proven producer because this is what she produced. Although she only had one puppy, so we'll see on this litter what she produces. The hope, our hope is that we get extreme micros that are not too exotic. We don't, we're, we're breeding away from exotic. My female, her top side is exotic. Her bottom side is very clean. Her, once again, exotic male, clean female. Bubby's bred the same way. Exotic male, clean female. So, in theory, taking my clean female with a little bit exotic to Bubby, who's probably cleaner than my female, to be honest with you. I think my female is probably more exotic than Bubby, but she's very clean to say, you know, she's very clean too. So, um, she got, she's got perfect structure, good bone, and let me see for yourself. Shoulders, neck, short back. Bubby's just a tad bit longer. I would say they're probably both the same size from the ground up. Probably the same height. My female clearly is uh, built like very thick. She's a bull. She's a bull. So I got my partner here, my son with me. Um, yo. You too, you too. Just a man behind the plan right there. So, uh, with her mommy, with her daughter gonna watch on, we're gonna go ahead and do this AI, man. We're gonna go ahead and AI her up today. We did two progesterone tests. Uh, one Tuesday was too early. She was 2.6. Did one yesterday. She was 6.98, which is basically a 7. The vet told me I had a one to three day window starting today, which is Friday, um, to breed her today and then breed her saturday i mean sunday so aaron sent us two vials two semen two vials of semen so we can do two breedings last time i tried to ai her she was actually at a five when i bred her and only bred her once and that's why i think it didn't take i bred her too early and only bred her once this time aaron gave us uh two vials and uh so we should have her covered she should, she should, you know, everything should go good. And um, I just want to just give another shout out to Aaron and say thank you again, bro. I mean, this man was doing something. Yes, I called him yesterday. I I, not I notified him earlier in the week and said, look, my dog's in heat. This is what I'm doing. Taking it to the vet. I, I told him the results. I'm going back Thursday. He said, you know, keep me posted. I hit him yesterday and said, hey, look, she's ready. Need that sperm tomorrow. And it's here. 
You know, he, he had breedings he was doing. You know, he's living his life. He's in Cincinnati, you know. I'm here in Baltimore area. And, um, man, he made it to the FedEx on time. Got the box here. It snowed here, but not a lot. So we're still able to get the box on time. So I just like to say shout out to my man Aaron. Good looking out. Queen City, Bully. Queen City Bullies. You know what I'm saying? Says it right here on the box. Bubby. So... We're going to have some Bubby babies, hopefully. And uh, we're going to do it, man. You know? Next level, 2022. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm not sure what we're going to call our kennel yet. Because, obviously, we haven't really been marketing and nothing yet. We're trying to build our foundation up um, through faith. So, these puppies, through her, her puppies are probably going to be very exclusive. I don't know how many is going to be available. We'll get down to that road when it, we'll, we'll cross that road when we have to. Um, but uh, we've been thinking about next level bullies. Obviously, I, I started the channel with high anxiety bullies because I have high anxiety, I have anxiety, PTSD, and I want to bring awareness to, uh, to to the fight against people with mental illness because I think mental illness is one of the most underrated problems in this country as far as not getting the attention that it needs to get, whether it be autism. Whatever, whatever the case may be, depression, uh, PTSD, uh, anxiety disorders was what I got, you know, claustrophobia. There's a lot of different types of things that go into uh, insomnia. You know, it's a lot of type of things that go into mental illness. You know what I mean? And it's not just like spina bifida and them type of things, although those are serious. But there's a lot of mental illness going on. A lot of people deal with it, even, even as you get older with Alzheimer's and all types of other stuff. But mental, mental illness is a, is is a, a underlying place, a underlying problem in this country, and there's a lot of people that are afflicted by it that you wouldn't even know are afflicted by it. I got mine from being in a car accident. wasn't even my fault. What are you doing, Mama? You trying to get on YouTube? She's five months old, y'all. But yeah, let's bring awareness to mental illness, and you can do that by if you don't want to just simply supporting the channel. Like sharing, subscribing, you can hit my cash app and donate to the channel, and then you know, we, you know, we always need cages and dog stuff and blah blah blah. So you can always find a way to support mental illness by supporting the channel. And once again, thank you to uh, Queen City Bullies and Aaron for doing this. Um, we're not gonna do the AI on camera this time. Maybe the one on Sunday we'll do. I'm sure everybody knows how to do an AI that's watching this. So I don't need to actually do it on camera because um, I don't want anything to go wrong. I don't want anything to go wrong. I want me and my son to be 100% focused on getting this done. So with that being said, uh, thank you again, Aaron. YouTube, like, share, subscribe. Stay tuned. You know. You got, you got something you want to say, mamas? YouTube. YouTube. Peace and hair grease.